eating cranberries and welcome, welcome back, back to our CM service. So this is going to be the last episode of this series, The Warrior's Power. Next week will be our final episode of CM Legacy Online. So we're going to see you guys back on June 6th online on Zoom or in person at 12.30. Alright CM, so we're on our final journey to be transformed into holy warriors. We've already completed our warrior's training and put on our warrior's armor. As you all know, we've been working on our final piece to becoming a holy warrior. And the final piece to becoming a holy warrior is to have the warrior's power. Kamehameha! So today we'll be learning about the last power that a warrior must develop if he or she wants to bring change to the world. So let's check out this video one more time to learn about all the powers that we've learned about so far. Roll the clip! What kind of tree is that? Wait, I know. It's an apple tree. How can you tell? Because it's got apples on it. Apples are my favorite fruit. No, oranges. Wait, bananas. Bananas are definitely my favorite. My favorite fruit is love. Love? Love isn't a fruit. Sure it is. Love is a fruit of the Spirit. Fruit of the what? The fruit of the Spirit. In the book of Galatians, Paul writes about love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. When we walk with the Holy Spirit, that's the fruit we can expect to see in our lives. I'm not a tree. I don't have fruit. The fruit of the Spirit doesn't grow on trees. It grows in us because of what we are. An apple tree naturally makes apples. An orange tree naturally makes oranges. And a banana tree makes... Bananas! Right. And all who follow Jesus have God's Holy Spirit living inside them. So when they choose to let God's Holy Spirit guide them, what naturally comes out is... Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Right. All the fruit of the Spirit. And just like you can tell an apple tree by its apples, the fruit of God's Holy Spirit lets others know that we belong to God. But without the power of God's Holy Spirit, Paul says a different fruit grows in us, the fruit of our sinful nature. That does not sound good. It isn't. That fruit is selfishness, pride, anger, envy, disobedience, greed, fighting, and anything that keeps us from getting along with each other and loving others the way God does. That fruit always makes us want more stuff because we think stuff can make us happier than God can. That fruit leaves us empty instead of full. Ew, I don't want that fruit. I want love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. But I get angry sometimes, and I'm not very patient. Guess I'll just have to try harder. Paul tells us trying harder won't get us anywhere. That's because our own strength only lasts a little while. But those who follow Jesus have declared that their sinful nature is dead. Now we can choose to live by the power of God's Holy Spirit instead. We can spend time with Him and pray and get to know Him, for real. And as we get to know God's Holy Spirit more... I know! The power of God's Holy Spirit will make more of the fruit of the Spirit grow in us. Like bananas! <laughs> like bananas! Wasn't that video cool, you guys? Now let's say our main theme Bible verse together in 3, 2, 1! But, but the, the fruit, fruit of the Spirit, the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. Against such things there is no law. Galatians chapter 5 verses 22 to 23. Great job guys. So we're gonna, before we send you off to our last warrior teacher, first we'll spend some time in worship. But he brought me in all his love for me, all his love for me. Who the sun sets free, who is free indeed, I'm a child of God, yes I Jesus died for me Yes, 
It's me, Asia. So, so far you receive the power of love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and the power of gentleness. Today I'm here to teach you the next fruit that you must bear in order to grow into a warrior for Jesus. And the power we're going to be learning about today is the power of self-control. The best place to learn about the fruit of self-control is from the Bible, God's word to us. So let's check out this story. This is Paul, oh, hey. who told people about Jesus in lots of different places. Yeah. Paul also wrote letters to the different churches that he had visited while he was away from them. In Paul's first letter to the Corinthians, he wrote to them about discipline. Hmm. He said, don't you realize that in a race everyone runs, but only one person gets the prize? Woohoo! So run to win. All athletes are disciplined in their training. They do it to win a prize that will fade away. Mm -hmm. But we do it for an eternal prize. Mm -hmm. So I run with purpose in every step. I'm not just shadow boxing. I discipline my body like an athlete, training it to do what it should. Otherwise, I fear that after preaching to others, I myself might be disqualified. Paul wrote many more things to the Corinthians in his letters to encourage them and help to keep them on track as they learned more about God. So to recap that video we just watched, this story was about self-control. We learned that Paul was always preaching the gospel to people and sometimes he writes people letters to encourage them. He wrote a letter to the church in the city of Corinth. He told them that we should live life where we are training ourselves to learn to control the way we think, what we want to do, and how we feel towards a situation in our lives. And that is the power that we're going to be talking about today, the power of self-control. So what is the power of self-control? Self-control is being able to control your thoughts, actions, and how we feel. Paul had to learn self-control in his life. Do you know why? Every time he was hit for preaching about Jesus, he could have hit the people back, but he learned to control his actions. Every time people called Paul bad names for sharing about Jesus, he could have cried and let those words make him feel really bad, but he learned to control his feelings. 
Every time people treated Paul badly because he was a follower of Jesus, he could have thought bad things about those people, but he learned to control his thoughts. The power of self-control is the ability to control your thoughts, actions, and feelings. So how do you practice the power of self-control? One, by praying to God every time you think something bad, want to do something bad, or feel something bad. I remember a time when I was really upset with my mom because she was yelling at me for something I did. I really don't like to be yelled at and when she yelled at me, I started having really bad thoughts like I wished I had another mom. <sighs> And I started doing other bad things like I was stomping my feet very hard on the ground and then I was slamming the door shut to my room really loud. And then I started having these really bad feelings like anger and I was boiling up inside with all this rage. But thankfully I was a believer in Jesus Christ and I remember that God's word told me that I'm supposed to honor my mom. So I started praying to God and I asked him, God forgive me for for having these bad thoughts about my mom. And instead of saying, I wished I had another mom, I said, thank you, Jesus, that you gave me my mom. Also, I had to pray to Jesus about stomping my feet and making really loud sounds. So I prayed to God and asked him, God, it's not good that I'm making these really loud sounds. I'm very upset right now, but there are other actions that I can take. Help me to do those things instead. And instead of stomping and slamming the door, I sat down and started writing about how I was angry at my mom. Lastly, I had to pray to Jesus about the bad feelings I was having. The Bible says that I should not hate anyone, but I was hating my mom at the moment, so I prayed. I asked God, God, help me to be calm and not to be angry. Help me to think about the good things about my mom. And instead of feeling angry, I went downstairs and gave my mom a big hug. It wasn't easy for me because I was still mad at her, but it did help me a lot. The power of self-control always is activated when we practice to pray. When you're thinking about bad things, pray. When you're acting in a bad way, stop and pray. When you're feeling bad, pray. Self-control is the ability to control your thoughts, actions, and feelings. Okay guys, to recap this lesson, this is how you develop the power of self-control. One, by praying to God every time you think something bad, want to do something bad, or feel something bad. Okay guys, are you ready to transform? Let me pray first and then follow my motion. Let's bow our heads. Dear God, Jesus, give me the self-control in my life where I can control my thoughts, actions, and feelings. Sometimes I think things I don't want to do, or I do things I don't want to do, or I feel things that I won't want to. But you are such an awesome God, and you have the power to help me in my thoughts, my actions, and my feelings. Please help me to honor you. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Okay guys, are you ready to transform? Let's get ready in three, two, one. Fruit of self-control, power up. We hope you guys enjoyed this lesson. We'll see you guys next week. Bye. Hi guys, it's Steve the Science Guy, and today we'll be doing an experiment on self-control. So before we get started, let me list some materials that we'll be needing today. What we'll be needing is this glass cup. We'll be needing a dish just to catch our water. And next we'll be needing some food coloring. We'll be needing laundry detergent, vinegar, baking soda, and lastly, a glass of warm water. You guys ready? All right guys, so today we'll be doing an object lesson on self-control. So let's get started. So I already have warm water inside this glass, but we're gonna fill it up, okay? So first, let's pour in some warm water into our glass. All right, so that should be good. Next, what we'll be doing is we'll be pouring in some laundry detergents. Okay. Next, what we'll be doing is that we'll be adding two tablespoons of baking soda. And this baking soda is going to represent our anger. So let's do that. Two tablespoons of baking soda. Okay, here's one. And here is two. Oops, missed a little. That's all right. All right, I don't know if you guys can see it, but there's like bubbling happening. And that is our anger right there. And what we're gonna be doing next is that we'll be pouring some vinegar into here. And the vinegar is going to represent how we handle self-control. So let's see what happens if we have bad self-control. You guys ready to pour in some vinegar? Whoa, look at that, it's overflowing. 
So this is what happens when our anger overflows. Even though it looks so cool, this isn't what we want because we can injure others and harm others around. Alright guys, so I already filled up this glass of water, you guys can too. But what we'll be doing is that we'll be seeing what happens when we have love and self-control in our lives. So what we'll be needing is just food coloring. And this food coloring represents God's love. So let's see what happens when we pour God's love inside of us. Whoa, would you look at that? You can see love spreading. Even if we're angry, frustrated, or upset, love will still always be able to spread. So if we have the Holy Spirit in us, we can pray to God to help us in our lives to help control our thoughts, feelings, and actions. So I hope you guys enjoyed this experiment. I hope you guys keep on practicing the power of self-control and we'll, we'll see you guys next week. Bye. So that's all we have for you guys this week. We hope you guys enjoyed the video. Remember to keep up with your spiritual disciplines calendar, do your devos and do your soap nails. We'll see you guys next week. Bye. Bye. Like what you see? Come check us out on our YouTube channel. We're called to love God, love people, and serve the world. We post regularly every week, Wednesdays and Sundays. 10 a.m. Children's Ministry, 12.30 p.m. for English Ministry. Check out our website at www.wearetruelove.com. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button 